Have you ever caught yourself saying all the right things, but then not following up those things with actions? Unfortunately, that happens to all of us. And if you catch yourself, kudos, because that's a very important part of growth and development. However, there are people that unfortunately say all the right things and preach it till the roosters come home at night, but they don't follow up with actions or their actions are opposite or conflicting or just feels like something is amiss. And when that happens, once of the, unfortunately, people can be in the state of dissonance where they just don't get it. And it's frustrating because you're like, really, I don't understand how you don't get this. Like, right, like, come on. Um, and I, unfortunately, that happens. But you as a person, you have to catch yourself. Now, I tell you why. This is related to manifesting, quantum leaping. It is the most important thing. You have to follow up with actions if you are saying something. That is key because your inspired actions that match your words, your feelings, are bringing feelings up and that's the most important thing they will have results and the results are either what you want or what you don't want. There's not really much in between here. So you have to try and really connect to what you're saying. It's really not that hard. It can feel hard. It can feel weird. But the most important thing is really doing that. And if you start doing that, if you start aligning your words and the wisdom that you're acquiring with the feelings and with the actions trust me when i say you will see miracles happen this is where you're going to manifest because manifesting is just a an outcome of particularly a feeling a feeling of say something you want or you desire and it's connected to quantum leaping because the version of you that already has that knows that feeling so how do we make sure that you stay into that feeling and you do that by allowing yourself to uh, to to know what it's like right and not to judge it and to sit back and not control it so the most important thing is to make sure that when you learn something when you learn a wisdom you follow up by actions then when you want to manifest something remember how it feels and if you don't know because you don't really feel in this version think about yourself as the version that has what you want already and how it feels and it's not about the feeling exciting excitement for the thing that you have that's really a misconcept but it's more what that feeling represents for example a lot of people focus on money and they think oh money be nice to have right it's nice to have but a nice to have feeling is not an impactful feeling. What does it even mean? You want to have availability that is basically this, is telling you this. You are free. You can achieve things. You are in a position where you make decisions that are good for you and you don't have to res refrain yourself, restrain yourself. You can be expansive. You can help other people. How does that all feel? That feels amazing. So that's what you tap into. Now, if you are, um, if you're struggling with that, it just takes a little bit of practice because your brain at this point in time is not used to that and it's gonna be like, what are you smoking? And so you have to really rewire. And this is where subliminals are really, really important and manifestation through um, a repetition of mantras is really, nice but equally again if you're just saying words although words are spelled the only time and the only reason why words are spelled is because there is a feeling attached to that word so you have to know what the feeling is period so guys i'm really trying to inspire you to to get that to achieve that connection to that feeling so that you can really portray it in real life and equally understanding that timelines are easy to shift into once you understand that it's 
it's like honestly it i i cannot tell you i really have to do this i'm gonna do the whole podcast i have been manifesting like it's not even funny and i know when sometimes i become complacent because i'm like oh i manifested so i'm just like i can take it easy and then things just get a bit less impactful and then i'm like snap out of it it's continuous work because your actions have to match what you want and have to match the feeling that you want to have in relation to that thing so i truly 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 want to inspire you to try this if you want to know more please do get in touch with me because i'm so happy to share this and uh i never thought that i was going to go into this direction with my coaching either but when it comes to women empowerment for example one of the things that just started coming up is well you have to be the version of you that feels powerful if you are the version of you that feels down and feels less and feel judged and feel the the curse of your line whatever how are you gonna go anywhere what a beautiful sunset um how are you gonna go anywhere you're not you're gonna be stuck there what a crappy place to be so we manifest what we want to see and that's exciting so i love you to work on this please do and just hit me up if you have any questions let's talk about it more um i'll do the podcast i have so much to share i don't even know where to begin there's so much to share but it's exciting because i have been seeing such amazing work my mom actually said to me you have put your standards so high sometimes it feels like you want to be a perfectionist and honestly that is the last thing i am a perfectionist the last i never really was i i always had high standards of myself because i'm like i know i can do better because i just do no but equally i always wanted to make sure that i humbly conveyed what I was trying to portray which is I want to be a better version of myself but at the time I didn't what I didn't know what the better version of myself was now I do so the difference is when I try and when I when I say hey I want to I want to do this and I want to I want to see this outcome and I really want to just you know be that better version of myself it's about doing the work every single day towards that version meaning i am aware that things have to be flexible that things are not perfect i'm aware that i will make mistakes i'm aware that when you change your life things are tough and it takes a lot of courage to to change a lot there's more courage than anything else because fear keeps you in place fear keeps you fear keeps you very obedient and uh, complacent and uh, this is why when the whole lockdown happened the powers that be loved it because people were freaking out and they were like in fear and I realized after I didn't feel fear for the thing but I felt fear of things changing because I I didn't understand what that meant it was so disempowering but I let that disempowerment happen and I also wasn't well so I let myself kind of slip a little bit into the easy way out which would have been like oh fuck if the world is going to shit it's okay because I'm actually done with this what a terrible thing to say right but that's how I was thinking so um when I started getting better and when my head was clearer, when my thoughts were clearer, I just started seeing a version of myself that was so different. And um, it makes me very sad to think about those things, which is why I want to do the podcast. Also because that lesson has changed a lot in my personal life. And uh, there is so much history that is so hard to explain. And... Um, so many facts that a lot of people want to understand because it's multi-layered and not everything is bad actually a lot of stuff especially learning truth and wanting to share truth 
that stuff is so powerful and I can't actually share it without upsetting people so that's why I never talk about it uh, I, I even tried talking to friends and you can see the mocking just because they have limited understanding because I haven't done research they know they think they know everything because they learn something at school not actually thinking that maybe what you learn at school is not always correct you have to also do research outside the realms and then they're like yeah but how do you know these things are true well how do you know that what you learn in school is true like somebody's always vetting and curating what we are exposed to and what we are allowed to believe in or not so truth is not linear and it's not something you can just be like ta-da this is the whole truth truth is about really feeling inside your heart falling following the spirit it is that part is truly powerful you can't just be like I learned it at school well I learned a lot of shit at school that actually didn't turn out to be really correct so hello you have to just be really you have to be mindful that these things are what they are we have the judgment and um, I as always losing track um, but that is one thing that I really wanted to to share with you so walk your talk if you're learning something powerful, it resonates, it makes you feel like, wow, this is actually really, really true. Like, it resonates so much. Don't just sit on it. Do something about it. Walk your talk. If you're meant to change your whole entire life to make shit happen, then change your whole entire life. Now, I'm not saying become a reckless douche and go and spend all your money and become a hippie. I am not saying that. I am saying be open to the possibilities if you are in a relationship that makes you m sad or miserable or that is just not going where you want it whatever if you have any regret then do something about it if you are in a job that you hate and you wake up in the morning and you wish that you just somebody would transport you to another planet like uh you know schwarzenegger going to mars then Maybe it's time to look at the next thing. If you are sitting there feeling miserable for yourself, thinking, oh, I'm too old, it's too late for me, or I I don't know, I don't know what to do. I mean, do something. The something is take action. Take actions, even if it's a small one, plan and stop being afraid and miserable and stop making excuses. Just do something. And while you're doing that what was the worst thing that can happen guys you mess it up and you learn a lesson it goes really well and you realize that you quantum leaped and you are transporting that quality and skill that you didn't even know you had in this reality from another one and voila so quite honestly it's a win-win because you learn a lesson or you succeed i don't think i think we need to snap out of this using words like failure they are ugly words because they have a feeling attached to it the feeling of failure is a powerful negative feeling that tells people they are not good enough can i just from my heart to yours say you are more than good enough because while you're here and you want to listen to this and maybe think about your next step or maybe you simply are in that powerful shift where you want to be a better version of yourself whatever the reason is whatever you're working on whatever whatever it is a beautiful thing that you're open being open is the first step and so don't put yourself down don't make yourself small shine all right guys the light is going so i'm gonna go too and i love you okay i'll see you soon bye